Is air travel truly as safe as we believe? Or perhaps the better question to ask is, how reliable is modern aircraft technology? Today, we dive into the tragic story of the Ethiopian Airlines Boeing 737 MAX crash, a stark reminder of the potential pitfalls of cutting-edge technology. On the morning of March 10, 2019, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 took off from Addis Ababa Bole International Airport, destined for Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi, Kenya. The aircraft, a newly introduced Boeing 737 MAX 8, was part of Boeing's latest iteration of its highly successful 737 line. This new line boasted larger, more fuel-efficient engines, which were placed higher and more forward on the wings, altering the aircraft's aerodynamics and handling characteristics. But just months before the Ethiopian Airlines tragedy, on October 29, 2018, the world witnessed a similar accident. Lion Air Flight 610, another Boeing 737 MAX 8, crashed into the Java Sea shortly after takeoff from Jakarta, Indonesia. The crash claimed all 189 lives on board. Investigations into the Lion Air crash revealed a malfunction in the aircraft's Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCAS, a flight control feature designed to automatically adjust the aircraft's angle of attack. Erroneous sensor data caused the MCAS to repeatedly push the aircraft's nose down leading to the disastrous crash. In the aftermath of the Ethiopian Airlines crash, investigators quickly noticed chilling similarities between the two incidents. The erratic altitude changes and fluctuations in airspeed were eerily familiar. Suspicions arose that the MCAS system, once again, played a fatal role. The global aviation community reacted swiftly. Aviation authorities worldwide grounded all Boeing 737 MAX aircraft a decision made in the interest of passenger safety, allowing for thorough investigations into the cause of the crashes. Investigations into the Ethiopian Airlines crash were carried out by Ethiopian authorities with assistance from international agencies, including the National Transportation Safety Board of the United States and the Federal Aviation Administration. The preliminary report indicated similarities with the Lion Air crash, particularly in the behavior of the aircraft and the potential involvement of the MCAS system. Boeing faced a storm of scrutiny and criticism following the crashes. The company was under fire for its design and implementation of the MCAS system and for its handling of the certification process and communication with regulators and airlines. In summary, the Ethiopian Airlines Boeing 737 MAX crash serves as a stark reminder of the potential risks inherent in modern aviation technology. The tragedy underscored the importance of thorough testing, rigorous checks and balances, and clear communication between aircraft manufacturers, regulators, and airlines. As we continue pushing the boundaries of what's possible in aviation, let us never forget the lessons learned from these unfortunate incidents for the safety and well-being of all who take to the skies.